Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to make your various swap mods for Dragon Age the Veil Guard compatible with one another. This involves adding the needed bundles for each swap mod to the root description file and is a fairly simple process, even for a beginner. As always, mod your game at your own discretion and back up your data. Mistakes can happen. Without further ado, let's dive in. So here we have the latest frosty editor for Veilguard. Locate the search bar and type in description and hit enter. Follow this folder path to find the root description file and double click to open it. We will be working with the bundles and super bundles sections. It's now time to find the bundles we need. Be aware that 197 seems to be the limit for how many bundles you can have without breaking the game, but I recommend staying under 100 because the more you have, the more of an impact it has on your game. Here, on my mods, I've included the needed bundles for anyone seeking to do this method. Highlight the bundle, copy it, then go back to Frosty. Locate the bundles section, right click on the last number slot and select insert after. And paste our bundle into this slot here. Now do the same in the super bundles section Right click, insert after, paste. Simple. Now do the same process with any other swap mods you want to include in your swap library. Here are a few more of my own swap mods which have their bundles listed. We will repeat the process I just showed you for every bundle. Right click the latest number, insert after, paste. Do this for both the bundles and super bundles sections. Now, you may be wondering, but June, what if the mod author hasn't listed their bundles? Well, fear not my friend, you can find it on your own. Let's pretend we want to add Morrigan's outfit to this swap library, but we don't know the bundle for it. Let's clear out our previous search and hit enter, taking us back to the default list. Locate the characters tab, then click actors, and scroll until you see Morrigan. Follow the folder path for her outfit files. You can also find outfits and other NPC gear in the Factions tab under Appearances. Sort the list by type, then scroll down to the Simple Appearance files and click on any of the parts of her outfit. Then over here on the right, select the Bundles tab. Click through Morrigan's outfit pieces and see if the bundles are the same, which they are. I typically like to use the bundles with general purpose in the title, but if that isn't available, the live sinner or gameplay ones are usually a good option too. Copy the bundle without the win32 slash part at the beginning. This will cause the bundle not to work. Now that we have the bundle, let's add it to our swap library like we did all the others. Now that we have the mods we want, I recommend saving the project file so that you can come back and add more bundles later. Definitely save it. After that, export your mod. Name it however you like, select a category and hit save. You're all done. Load your new mod into the Frosty Mod Manager as you would any other mod. Make sure it is the last mod in your load order at the very bottom of the list. Troubleshooting. If your swap fails to show up in game, there are a few things you can try. 
Firstly, make sure you've copied the bundle properly and haven't missed any letters. And make sure you didn't copy the win32 slash part. Alternatively, as I showed with the Morrigan bundle, there was more than one bundle option. You can simply try a different bundle and see if this solves the issue. Also, sometimes for whatever reason, the bundle you pasted in may not have saved and there will be an empty slot in your root description. You may need to simply add the missing bundle again. Lastly, sometimes certain bundles need to be higher in the list than others. Try deleting the bundle and reinserting it higher in the list, like so. Save and re-export your mod after making changes and reinstall it in your Frosty Mod Manager. It goes without saying, this is simply my personal method for getting swap mods to work together, and what I have found works for me. Hopefully this guide helps you to have all the swap mods of your dreams. Thank you for watching, and happy modding!